Hey, what's going on? Today we're working inside of Premiere Pro and I'm going to show you a tip that could save you some time whenever you're working with multiple sequences or different timelines where you move your videos into one, make all your selects, kind of chop it up, figure out what you want to do, and then you usually take that, copy paste it back into your uh, original timeline, the one that you're going to export your video from. This way that I'm about to show you could save you a lot of time. But before we do, if you'd be so kind as to go down there and click the subscribe button, it definitely helps. So let's jump into Premiere Pro. I'm going to show you how this is done. So here we are inside of Premiere Pro, and you can see that I have two timelines open. So typically what someone would do, would you'd come pick out a video that you want, you would copy, and then you would paste it back into here. So what I would do and, and how I work is I, I usually take this sequence right here and you can see that you can move it. Now, if you bring it over here and you pull it down, you'll see that it's highlighted now. If you drop it, now you have your timeline, which is your selects over your normal timeline, the timeline where the video exists that you're gonna export. Now all you have to do, you don't have to copy and paste. If, if this is the video right here that you want, you just bring it down and you drop it right there and you're good to go. You need this one, bring it down, drop it in there, and you're good to go. Now, right here you have everything in kind of what I would call, it's kind of one timeline, but it's, um, I don't know, this works for me. That way I don't have to go back and forth. I don't have to worry about clicking back and forth. That right there, can speed up your workflow. All right, that's it. That's another tip for Premiere Pro. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, please hit like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.